starting tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, we're gonna have raffle ticket drawings for our milestone testing. So make sure you tune into that. It's gonna be super duper exciting. Now let's get on with our morning announcement. <laughs> Carrollton High School and welcome to the Carrollton Morning Announcements. I'm Preston McLaren and I'm Anna Hauser and we are your hosts for Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. Today in CHS News, students, if you bought a pink out shirt, please stop by the front office and pick it up. Thank you. Congratulations to Anna Hauser and May Brodsky for breaking to the Octo Finals and Nelson, Q, and Presley for making it to the quarterfinals. Speakers, 5th speaker to Anna Hauser, 8th speaker to Nelson, and 10th speaker to Presley. Congratulations. Thank you. Any student interested in competing at the TSA competition in March needs to meet in Coach Young's STEM lab immediately after school on Tuesday, January 22nd. The meeting will last until 345. The deadline to purchase a yearbook to guarantee that you get a copy is January 26. Any copies after the 26 will be sold on a first come surf, first serve basis while supplies last. Spanish Honor Society will meet on January 30th at 8 a.m. and 3.20 p.m. All members must attend one of the two meetings. Spanish Honor Society will be collecting socks for the emergency shelter and the Child Advocacy Center. Socks are needed for children and adults. SCH members, you will need to bring all socks to Dr. Townsend's room to receive credit for your donations. You are welcome to organize donations within your classes. Speaking of Spanish Honor Society, there's a special video about an upcoming fundraiser, the Pulsera Project. The Pulsera Project is a fair trade nonprofit organization that works with artisans in Central America and provides a market for their handmade bracelets, or pulseras, in schools across the U.S. Each pulsera costs only $5 and comes tagged with the photo and signature of the artisan who made it. Money raised from your school's pulsera sale will sustain employment for hundreds of artisans and will also fund programs like housing, healthcare, scholarships, social enterprises, and other empowerment programs that benefit the artisans and communities throughout Central America. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing time coloring the world with the Pulsera Project in your school. Thanks for that video. I already got my Pulsera Project bracelet and I love it, so stop by to see all of the colors and designs. Now over to Ethan and May for Trojan Sports. Here are your CHS sports announcements. Anyone interested in being a manager for the upcoming baseball season, please see Coach Bianca for more information. Sports are limited. Today in Trojan Sports, pink out games tonight. JV boys basketball versus Rome, 4.30 aux gym. JV girls basketball versus Rome, 4.30 p.m. Varsity girls basketball versus Rome, 6 p.m. Varsity boys basketball versus Rome, 7.30 p.m. Coming tomorrow in Trojan Sports, ninth grade boys basketball versus East Coweta, 4.30 p.m. JV Boys Basketball versus East Coweta, 6 p.m. Good luck to all our Trojan athletes. In the senior section, senior news. Be on the lookout for more scholarship opportunities. The Carrollton City Schools Education Foundation scholarships for our community scholarships will be accepting applications soon. Ms. Fisher will post these scholarship opportunities on the senior corner soon. Now over to Jack for our CHS weather report. Good morning, Carrollton High School. This is your Chief Weather Reporter, Jack Ones, with your weather update. Today's weather is calling for your forecast high of 54 and a low of 50. It will be cloudy during the day. CHS, enjoy the dry weather because it will be wet for the next several days. Now back to our anchors for today in history. 
Thank you so much, Jack. Today in history, today in 1997, the day after her unanimous confirmation by the U.S. Senate, Madeleine Albright was sworn into the American as the in America's first female Secretary of State. And a bonus in Today in History, on January 23rd, 1957, machines at the wham -O Toy Company roll out the first batch of their aerodynamic plastic, um, <laughs> something, discs yeah. known to millions of fans all over the world known as Frisbees. So, happy birthday to Gabriella Barnes, Zanique Stewart, Brittany Hudson, and David Johnson. Happy birthday to all of you. The SAT word of the week is obstinate. As used on the SAT, stubbornly adhering to an opinion. As used in a sentence, even though Todd was warned that duct tape was not aesthetically appealing, he obstinately used it in his project. Remember, opportunity starts here, so make the most of today's opportunities. That's all for us this morning. Thank you for watching the Carrollton Morning Announcements. We hope you have a tremendous Tuesday, and go, go Trojans! Trojans.